You're gonna get lots of dinner inspiration today. Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and today I am sharing a what's for dinner video. So I've got several dinner recipes that I will be sharing, just dinners that I have been feeding my family over the past couple of weeks. I've just picked a couple here and there to share with you guys, but I'm also gonna have a link in the description box. It is a playlist with a ton more dinner inspiration. So if you love these types of videos, you're definitely going to want to hit that subscribe button and stick around. I share them occasionally but don't forget that playlist down below because you're gonna get even more. There are a lot of ladies here on YouTube that are sharing what's for dinner videos today and they are all linked in that playlist. So let's go ahead and get right into what I've got to share with you guys. So hopefully you are inspired in your kitchen. Okay, tonight's dinner is all in one pan. I'm gonna be making a ham and cheese tortellini dish. So I've got some olive oil that is getting nice and hot, and I'm adding one small onion that has been diced up. And I'm just gonna cook this until it is nice and soft. All right, now that my onions are starting to brown, I have this ham that's already diced up. I love this stuff for casseroles like this and also to mix them with some scrambled eggs, super easy and yummy. And this is 16 ounces, so I'm gonna add the whole thing in here along with one, two teaspoons of minced garlic. All right, I'm gonna mix these three ingredients up and cook it for a few minutes until the ham starts to get a nice little char or nice and brown all over. Now that it has a nice brown all over it, it smells so good. You guys hear it popping. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. I've got it on high right now. I'm adding an entire can of chicken broth, half a cup of heavy cream, and I've got a 20 ounce package of cheese tortellini. All right, I'm gonna stir this up until everything is nice and combined, and then I'm going to let it come to a boil and cook it for about eight to 10 minutes. It's been about eight minutes. I think that is long enough. The liquid is almost all absorbed into the tortellini. The tortellini is nice and soft. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. I don't add too much into dishes like this because I like to let my kids add what they want after the fact. I don't wanna make it too, I mean peppery really for them. So just a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm going to mix that in here, get that combined and incorporated into the dish. I'm going to turn the heat off completely and I've got a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese and about three quarter cups of mozzarella cheese. So I'm going to stir this up and mix it until the cheese is completely melted in here. All right, now that that cheese is all melted, I'm gonna add some more cheese to the top. I just grabbed a handful of shredded cheese, so maybe another three quarter cup, but I'm gonna leave this on the top. Now, you could move this to your oven, put it under the broiler, and let it get a little brown, but I'm not doing that. I'm gonna leave it on the stove top. I'm going to put my lid on top. The heat is still off, but it's still hot. I'm gonna let that just melt on the top a little bit, and then dinner is gonna be ready. All right, and dinner is served. So I've got a sweet kale salad on the side, and then I'm topping it with a little bit of parsley. I love the flavor and it just makes it look a little prettier. It gives that little extra color in there. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight. Okay you guys, give my husband a big thumbs up for making dinner on this night. I wanted to share this recipe with you guys because it is super easy and just a different take on pizza night. My daughter Pearl had softball practice and it was my night to take her. My husband and I switch out weeks, that way we both get to watch her. So this week was mine and this is just an easy flatbread cheeseburger pizza. So I had some flatbreads or non breads in the freezer. I pulled them out, put a little mozzarella cheese on them bake them for a few minutes until the cheese melted and then you cook up some ground beef and onions on the stove top put whatever seasonings you like we like to use garlic powder onion powder a little salt and pepper and then I had a little salad mix chopped up some tomatoes chopped up some pickles and then used some thousand island dressing to drizzle on top and it tastes just like a cheeseburger super yummy and just a fun twist on pizza night
Next dinner I am sharing with you guys. I'm really just focusing on the casserole that I'm making because to go with it, we're just having these bison dogs that I picked up from Sam's, Costco. I don't know because I shop at both, so one of those I picked these up from. I'm gonna use the air fryer. I've got a big pot of water, salted water, hopefully coming to a boil soon. That's how I'm just gonna cook this corn. I'm just gonna dump that in there. But the casserole is a little bit more hands-on. So I found this online. I will link it down below. It is a jalapeno popper casserole. So I actually already baked my tater tots for 15 minutes at 425. And now I'm gonna mix up what is gonna go on top of it and then it's gonna go back in the oven for an additional 20 minutes. So I've got some shredded cheese here, some green onions. This is about a pound of bacon that I cooked and then just chopped up. And this is the pre-cooked bacon from Sam's or Costco as well. And then six jalapenos that we seeded and diced up. I've got two blocks, eight ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese, and then one cup or an eight ounce tub of sour cream. And we're gonna mix all of it together in the bowl. I'm gonna leave out a little bit of the green onions, the cheese, and bacon to sprinkle on the very top but all of the jalapenos, all the sour cream, all the cream cheese is going in my bowl. So let's go ahead and get that mixed up and then on top of our tater tots in our casserole dish. I made my plate, <laughs> I still have everybody else's, but I want you guys to let me know what you like on your hot dog, because I feel like everybody in our house is a little different. So what I do is I put ketchup on the bottom, see the ketchup, and then I put relish on the top. These are the toppings that we've got. We've got the relish, mustard, ketchup, and mayo. Like I said, everybody kind of likes something different. So what I did for the hot dogs, 390 for five minutes, and they are perfect. They actually just started splitting. So yum, super juicy. So we've got our hot dogs. We've got our corn that I just, what, maybe like 12 minutes or something in boiling water, and it is ready to go. And then here is our jalapeno popper casserole. So yum, it smells really, really good. Definitely feel like this is gonna be great for next summer to take to potlucks or if you're having a gathering with family or whatever, I just feel like this is something different. So yum, that's what's for dinner tonight. Dinner tonight, I didn't film me making it or anything, just quick and easy spaghetti. However, one thing that I have learned that I love <laughs> is adding zucchini in my spaghetti sauce. I got that from every plate. One of their like spaghetti bolognese has zucchini in it. And ever since I got that last year, whenever we make spaghetti, I like to add a little bit of zucchini. And this is just Italian sausage, um, a marinara sauce, and then I added a little bit of salt and pepper and some butter, and then a tiny little bit of the spaghetti water or pasta water from when I cooked that. So. This is gonna be super yummy. And then I made a quick garlic bread for the side, but that's it, super easy. We've got a little bit of veggie in the tomato sauce, so I was like, you know what, that's all. I'm not gonna make anything else, but this is what we're having for dinner tonight. Okay, I think this is gonna be the last dinner I share with you guys for this video, but this one is, I mean, I feel like the theme is just super easy and kid-friendly. <laughs> I'm picking all the ones to show you guys that are super easy to get my kids to eat. So this one, I'm gonna do chicken in just a minute, and then I'm just roasting up some green beans and potatoes. So I've got my oven to 450. The potatoes are gonna take longer, so I'm gonna put these in first, set my timer for like 10 minutes. 
All I did was drizzle olive oil and then salt and pepper and mix them all together. So I'm gonna roast those on the top rack and then after my 10 minutes is up, I will put in my green beans for another 10 minutes. So 20 minutes total, unless I feel like it needs a little bit longer, but I don't think it will. And I just did the same thing. I drizzled it with olive oil, salt and pepper. I love to mess around with new seasonings and things like that on green beans and like any roasted vegetable, but my kids not so much. So like I said, tonight is just gonna be super easy and simple salt and pepper, olive oil. So let me go ahead and get these in the oven and then we're gonna go over to the stove top and start the chicken until we need to put the green beans in. Okay, so I'm just gonna cook the chicken on the stove top. I've got some avocado oil in there and I seasoned it with salt and pepper. So I am just going to pull off this in here. And I don't know what happened to this chicken breast, but <laughs> It's still gonna taste good. So I'm gonna let this cook for about five minutes. Don't worry, I washed my hands. I'm going to add salt and pepper to this side before I flip them. I flip my chicken, my green beans are in the oven with the potatoes and I'm gonna make a quick little gravy sauce to go on top of the chicken. I also like to put it, I mean, I like put it all over my plate, <laughs> the potatoes, the green beans and everything, but the kids will just have it with their chicken and they'll use ketchup for their potatoes and then just eat the green beans. But all this is, I just tossed in half a cup of chicken stock, then I just squeezed in some sour cream. It was probably half a cup of sour cream, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard and two tablespoons of butter. Is that all I threw in there? I think so, I think that's all I threw in there. Um, just a quick little gravy. I got a lot of gravy inspiration or sauce inspiration whenever I use um, every plate because they always give you something yummy to put over your chicken with their chicken dishes and I love it. So I definitely have a lot of the cards saved and these were quite a few ingredients that I already had on hand. So um, if you had any fresh herbs like dill, I love dill with chicken maybe parsley dill comes to mind but i would add that in but that's going to be yummy to just drizzle over the chicken okay dinner is served so this is what we're having for dinner tonight i know there's something extra on my plate what is that so most nights i don't make two dinners but tonight i did go ahead and make a curry red lentil soup for Paige, my oldest, because she does eat a vegan slash a plant-based diet. Um, and this is a recipe that you guys will see in an upcoming video. So I just was like, you know what? I'm making that, I might as well just film everything else too. <laughs> so I did make that, she's gonna make herself a bowl. And then I love curry red lentil soup, it's so good. So I did get a small bowl of that. And then I got a little bit of everything else. So I only have half a chicken breast since I am having the soup. And like I mentioned, I do like to drizzle the sauce over everything. So I've got some green beans, potatoes, chicken, and this soup. Definitely gonna be a yummy and flavorful dinner, but this is our spread. Now the kids, the reason why I went ahead and made something else, because normally when I make this amount, I won't make anything else. We'll all eat this soup wise, but I have made something very similar to this before and the kids are not a fan, my younger three. So I wanted to make this for Paige. That is why I went ahead and made something different for everybody else. So we've got the green beans, the chicken, the potatoes, and then the little sauce back here. I need to go ahead and get everybody else's plates made. I just wanted to go ahead and make up one so you guys could see everything on there. But that is what is for dinner in my house tonight. Okay, so those are our dinners over the past couple weeks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you're looking for even more dinner inspiration, check out that playlist down in the description box for even more recipes and meal ideas. I hope you guys have a fantastic Sunday and upcoming week, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.